So um, we'll, we'll walk through some of the, uh, the procedures on operating the fill station. Um, once your storage is full, we can then uh, regulate pressure in to uh, test the operation of the fill whips and uh, the fill station. A couple of things I want to point out is we have these spacers in the bottom. Okay, these spacers are notched to allow uh, different height of cylinders. So uh, for the, the, the taller cylinders, you're going to use the number two position. Uh, for the, the smaller cylinders where you want this raised up, you use one, number one position. If you've got scuba cylinders, then you would go ahead and take out the, um, take the, the spacer out so you can use a, a scuba connector in there. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll put these in here and you just line them up. Um, you want the cylinder to be slightly below the top edge here. You don't want it too high. So if that spacer is set too high, when the door closes, you might hit the top with the cylinder. And you don't want it too low because then the cylinder is going to hang off the hose. Okay, So you want it just slightly below the top edge of this. And when you make your connection, of course, yeah. when, you're, uh, when you've got your own um, fill, <clears throat> your own tanks, you're going to check, make sure they're within hydro, make sure, check your pressures on them. Okay? You make the connection, the hose connection. Screw that all the way down. Okay. Now, one of the things I do, because a lot of times it's easier to make this connection when it's up high like this, okay. before I make that final connection, that last twist, I go ahead and set the cylinder down and then tighten it. Because what will happen if I tighten it up here like this, watch that connection. See? Now it loosens and then the little O ring on the end will blow out. Okay. So if you've got it up like this, okay slide it down and then make that last connection okay close the bleed open the cylinder okay. now in this position you can't fill anything okay so if i tried to fill the cylinder the safeties within here will prevent me from filling this cylinder okay the door has to be closed and the locking bar has to drop down now i can go ahead and crack crack the uh, fill valve okay so i've opened up a cascade panel so I opened up, I'm now uh, pulling air from bank one into my regulator. I set my regulator to the pressure that I'm filling, the 4500 or the 5500, whichever adapter I've put on there. Okay. And then I control my flow through this valve. So I just crack this slightly open. Okay. The faster you fill, the hotter that is. So we recommend filling about 500 PSI a minute. Okay. So you're gonna fill a cylinder in about five to eight minutes, depending on how empty it is. Okay, once it's full, now you may have to cascade, especially if it's a 5.5. Okay, so once bank one equalizes and you still need more air, you close bank one, you open bank two. Okay, and you may need to slightly adjust your flow rate again uh, to compensate for the pressure increase. Now, if I still need to top it off and bank two is drawn down and equalized, I would close bank two and then open bank three, then that would top it off. Once the cylinders are topped off, I close the panel, the control panel, open the uh, fill station, close the SCBA cylinder, crack the line, okay, and bleed that. Okay, of course, you're gonna be wearing your, all your safety, your protective gear, because this is gonna be high pressure air bleeding off. Okay, once that's bled off, it'll read zero on your gauge, and you'll no longer hear any air you can go ahead and disconnect that. If you try to disconnect it and it's still got pressure on it, you're gonna blow that O-ring off on the nipple tip. Okay? Now, these nipple tip O-rings are replaceable, okay? So you can get replacement um, O-rings here and it just takes a little Allen wrench so you can unscrew that. So if you do damage a, a uh, O-ring here, it's very easy for the end user to go ahead and swap that out just by removing the, uh, the little set screw in here pulling the old o-ring out put the new o-ring on and then uh, tighten that set screw back on once you're done for the day and you park your fill whips back in the holders and then shut the door and top off your storage ready 